Today we will be discussing safe sleep for infants and toddlers in a crib or car seat that is securely in the base. This presentation was made possible with the help of Safe Kids Grand Forks. Safe sleeping environments are the best way to decrease the likelihood of sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. SIDS is the sudden unexplained death of an infant under one year of age. SIDS is the leading cause of death among infants a month, aged one month to one year. Each year, nearly 3,500 infants die from SIDS. Practicing the ABCs alone, on their back, and in a crib is a way to decrease the risk of SIDS. The first letter of the ABCs is A, alone. All infants should share a room with their parents or caregiver and not a bed. Babies should not sleep in a bed, couch, or armchair with adults or other children. It is encouraged that babies room share with their parents, not bed share, for at least six months and preferably one year. If parents bring a baby into bed to breastfeed, they need to put them back in a separate sleep area when they're finished. Bed sharing not only increases the risk of harm in infants, but it also increases the risk of SIDS for the infant. Additionally, there should be no extra blankets other than the one that the infant is swaddled in within the crib. This includes wedges, bumpers, and stuffed animals. Also, it could be helpful if the use of a sleep sack rather than a traditional loose blanket is used to swaddle the infant, as these wearable blankets replace loose blankets in the crib that can cover your baby's face and interfere with breathing. This is going to promote a safer sleep environment. The second letter of the ABCs for safe sleep is B for back. The safest sleep position for an infant is on their back and not their stomachs until at least the age of one year. One of the most researched risk factors for SIDS is sleeping on their stomachs. This increases the risk of suffocation as well. If the mattress is soft or as if there's loose articles underneath the infant, sleeping on their stomach can be fatal. The final letter of the ABCs for safe sleep is C for crib. All infants should be placed in a crib with a firm mattress that has been approved by a safety approved mattress. Additionally, infants should not be placed on soft surfaces for sleep such as pillows, quilts, and other blankets. The American Academy for Pediatrics also recommends that infants should not be placed in infant car seats, strollers, swings, baby loungers, or slings for routine sleep as they pose a risk for airway obstruction. As mentioned in the letter A, the crib for an infant should be free from everything aside from the infant and their sleep sack or other swaddle. Sleep in a crib is the safest environment for an infant. After talking about safe sleep environments and what they look like for infants, here are two examples of unsafe sleep environments. There are loose blankets, stuffed animals, and bumpers present in these cribs, all of which, which makes these infant cribs an unsafe environment. So because many infants often fall asleep in their car seats, we are also going to talk about safe sleep tips in the car seat. Steps that you should take to ensure your baby is safe in their car seat include placing your baby in the seat, making sure the bottom and the back should be flat against the car seat. Step number two is to check the harness straps. Make sure that the harness straps come through the car seat slots at or just below the, your baby's shoulders. Step three is to buckle and tighten the harness so that it is snug. Do the pinch test to make sure you cannot pinch the harness strap at your baby's shoulders. Step four is to position the chest clip. It needs to be level with your baby's armpits. You can visit the Safe Kids Ultimate Car Seat Guide to learn more about safety tips. For the best possible protection, infants should be buckled in a rear-facing car seat locked in its base, like in the picture here on the left in the back seat of the vehicle until they reach the maximum weight and height limits of their car seat. See your car seat manual to ensure height and weight limits are correct for your infant. Avoiding asphyxiation. 48% of non-accident related car seat deaths are due to positional asphyxiation. Positional asphyxiation happens when a baby can't get enough air to breathe properly due to the positioning of their body. Those at highest risk include premature babies, low birth weight babies, and babies with low muscle tone. Steps to reduce this problem include ensuring the harness is at the correct height, tightening car seat straps and harness properly, avoiding pillows and supports, taking regular breaks while driving, and um, checking on your baby regularly.
Some healthy sleep tips to recap the following the previous slides include not smoking around your infant or letting others smoke around the infant as this can increase the risk of SIDS. Using a pacifier can also help to decrease the risk of SIDS. Do not use wedges or other positioners in the crib with the infant. This can increase the risk of SIDS. Remember and utilize the ABCs of safe sleep, alone, on their back, and in their crib with no stuffed animals, wedges, or excessive blankets. Avoid leaving an infant to sleep in their car seat when the car seat is out of the base. If you are looking for more information or want to discuss safe sleep further with any of the members of the Safe Kids Grand Forks team, here are some resources. Email safekids at altru.org. You can visit their website www.safekidsgf.com or the national website of www.safekids.org. The website gives additional information and also provides the dates for upcoming Safe Kids events such as the Safe Car Seat Checks. You can visit with a member of the Safe Kids team at 701-780-1489. And if you are looking for more information and want to stay up to date of upcoming events, you can subscribe to the Safe Kids newsletter on their website. This presentation was made in partnership with the University of North Dakota College of Nursing Semester 4 students. Thank you for watching our presentation. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us through the Safe Kids email or phone number provided on the previous slide.